hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is chindi mauko and you're welcome to chindi mauko's channel so if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for like what hit the subscribe button immediately and then hit the notification bell by the side so you can get notification the moment i post a video yes yeah, so thank you very much and welcome and thank you for stopping by so we all know that airfare is usually the most expensive part of every trip especially international travel however there are some tips travelers use in order to minimize like the amount of money they spend when booking their flight ticket so today i'll be sharing with you tips on how to get cheap international flight ticket Woo! cheap international flight ticket and i know you bet me you want to listen to them so if you want to know these tips stay and listen so the first tip i'll be sharing with you today is what is to be a nanny on air yes it's possible you haven't heard of it before so today i'll be sharing it with you oftentimes travelers who have children actually want a nanny to help them take care of their children on air yes it's not so popular but then it's a major way of saving money so how does this happen most times they want you to help them take care of their kids on air either play games with them just look after them just so that they could have their time and their space usually these children are within the ages of zero to five years old and then they just want you to help them take care of these children so what do we usually do or what would you have to do on air it's just to take care of the children on air and the moment you are down from that plane the agreement is over that's just it and so how do you make money from this there's a reliable site where you can go to to register for one as in you wanting to be a nanny on air and that's called nanny in the clouds so when you go to this website you put in your details you have the right to accept or reject a particular customer and then you put in your wage whatever amount you want a customer to pay you just so you can look after their kids on air that's what you put there and then if they agree with your terms and conditions that's it you have enough money to like slash your to pay for your flight ticket you know and then you have change you know you keep the change <laughs> so number two point we'll be saying here today is that you should book your flight on time like book your flight ticket on time for local flights you could book your flight four to six weeks before you travel but once we are talking about international flights you want to book your flight ticket eight to twelve weeks ahead of time a lot of airlines bring out their price list way 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 earlier before the day of departure so you don't want to be among those set of people who would book their flight ticket one week before they travel no you want to book your flight ticket on time yes so the third point i'll be sharing with you here now is to avoid festive seasons yes you don't want to book your flight ticket during christmas ramadan easter new year is not ideal at all just like what i said earlier you would want to consider booking those flight tickets on time if you book them within those range they get sweat the third point would be use connecting flights yes it's a no-brainer that connecting flights are usually cheaper than non-stop flights yes i know some people consider it more stressful you have to stop spend like two hours but then when you don't have any rush you get or you don't really have there's no urgency and all that stuff you can decide to take it and then i could tell you the good part of using a connecting flight you could get to a particular country and then you have like two or three hours interval or even shorter you can decide to like take a taxi and stroll out for like one hour and then you come back but make sure you come back on time you don't want to miss your flight yes so there are some countries where you know or some airlines that are really expensive now let's talk about like emirates airline why would you want to like go to dubai and then you use emirates emirates is cool it's good but sometimes it can be expensive and some people can't afford it so there are other options you can decide to go from for example you're going from nigeria precisely in namdi azikiwe international airport in abuja you can get from abuja to addis ababa using ethiopian airlines and then from addis ababa you get to dubai using emirates so you can always use alternatives or like other airlines too that move from addis ababa to dubai you can decide to board them rather than going direct another example i can give to you is if you're going to the us from nigeria you don't want to go straight that's a lot of money and they are cashing 
out on you sis or bro so you want to do yourself the favor of like using a connecting flight you can decide to use lufthansa german airline that takes you to frankfurt from nigeria precisely if you can go from lagos you can go from abuja so if you're going from abuja now that's nam the Azikiwe international airport you use lufthansa german airline and then you get to frankfurt then you can get an airline from frankfurt that takes you to any state you're going to in the u.s you can get to um new york john f kennedy's airport and all that so you don't want to use non-stop flight it can be really expensive you should try using connecting flight another thing i like to say is that you should check every airline and every fare possible before you book yes check as many search engines airlines as possible don't book your first price no just check as many as possible before you eventually book you will eventually see a cheaper one yes so i want you to take that into concentration whenever you're booking a flight check as many flight tickets as possible before you eventually book my next flight. point is going to be that you should join the membership club of a particular airline what does this simply mean it means flying on this airline over and over again and then the more you do it you get coins now note you must book with the airline's website to be able to get these coins if you use another search engine it doesn't count so you have to like use their website to book over and over and over again and then they kind of give you coins over and over and over again it gets to a point where your coins are so much and then they kind of give you a free flight like you stand a chance to get a free flight or a very 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 subsidized point is that you should look out for sales and promotions like from time to time some airlines give 50 percent off 20 percent 30 percent of the original price of the airline you don't want to book your flight ticket and now realize that they've been on sales all this while because you just couldn't keep your eyes down and like check the price so i like encourage you to every time you want to book a flight do well do yourself the favor to check if they have sales going on or any promotion or any as in good stuff happening around the price of the airline sorry the, the price of the flight ticket so when you now find out if there are sales and all that you could now book your flight ticket so we've come to the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed it like if you did please let me know in the comment section below and also if there are other tips you know that people could use to like get free flight tickets that i did not mention here please i would like to learn and then every other person who is watching this video would like to see that so please leave that in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and then see you in my next video bye